any disaster, telephone men strive to bring back service as soon as humanly possible. This is the calling card of a hurricane that left half a billion dollars damage in southern Texas. Bell System companies send reinforcements at once to the stricken area, from wherever needed, with whatever manpower it takes. Because it's one system, they use the same tools, the same know-how, the same methods everywhere. For Western Electric, it is truckloads of wire and carloads of cable that spell the dimensions of the disaster. At the company's service centers and warehouses, supplies are pulled from shelves, and orders for more go to other Western facilities, even before the scope of the need is known. If required, planes and trucks will be chartered, and installation crews will be rushed to the scene. The objective is always to meet the need. Two men have been working around the clock in this building, repairing the damage done by a fire still under investigation. The place today smelled of smoke and looked like the inside of a beehive. The field telephones on the street are in great demand. A small army of installers, splicers, and engineers called in to help restore service. An urgent call went out to Georgia for additional cable. Today, the work was going on at an almost feverish pitch. Even as the firemen scouted through the charred rubble, cleanup crews were busy cutting through and carting off the burnt out tangled wire, metal frames, straps, and goods. More than 1,000 telephone company workmen involved in the massive cleanup and restoration job. Working around the clock, they're trying to bring telephone service back to normal in the affected areas of Manhattan by Friday night. big figures in this story. The phone company shipped over 600,000 pounds of air freight to repair the job. They made 17 million tests. As a result of the phone... By now, most of the cleanup work on the bottom floors is done, and it's time to start moving in the heavy cables and equipment needed for reconstruction. More than 4,100 people are still working around the clock to repair the damage to phone lines caused by the fire February 27th in the East 13th Street switching facility. Many members of the task force were brought in from out of town. When we first came in, this place was all metal, mashed, and mingled. It was very difficult, very strange, very hard. It was hard on us, it's, it's still hard. The key to the restoration of service is the main frame, like this one. Once installed, the job is to connect up the thousands of wires, leads, and switchers. Well, now the building is full of workmen instead of smoke. To the phone company's credit, they have pushed day and night to get the switching center back in shape and get the phones working again. Presently, we're trying to hook up the central office equipment through this trunk main distribution frame down to the vault, which ties in the street cables, to try and get our customers into the offices. At 11.59 tonight, fingers will start dialing and bells will start ringing in Lower Manhattan. The 170,000 phones knocked out by a fire in Marbell 13th Street building will be back in service. The company says it did in six months' work in three weeks and calls that American. 441, sir. Yeah, we'll have your phone in 